Alright. First and foremost, I'm gonna say all praise be to Yahweh by Shina Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Most of the Shah Wars and So it's spelled P-H-R-Y-G-I-A, right? And, and that's the ancient town. And basically, what I'm right next to over here is the um the uh, the uh, the uh, the uh, uh, tomb of the apostle uh, Philip, man, right? And basically, he, he was um crucified either here or there. And um, basically, I actually stumbled on this place by a complete accident because over the, over over down there somewhere they they've got um some like hot springs right they've got some some um hot springs that's like you know it's it's very um it's very nice but as I made my way over here that's when I stumbled upon upon the historical information that in, that in about 2011 or 12 they actually um they actually excavated and uh, um the actual tomb of of, of philip the, the apostle which um the, the actual way that they uh, they uh, proved that it's his is because there's um some some coins that that that that that they uh, they have found on the, uh, the the person who was obviously in there, which was the apostle, and on that coin was um, inscribed, I believe, Holy One, Holy Immortal, and I can't I can't think of what, but also I believe on the coin, or if not something there, it was also inscribed his name. And I believe in about 2011 or 12, they actually came onto the uh, the, the like 100% conclusion that this is his tomb, right? Yeah. So they uh, they actually came to this this conclusion in about I think 2011 or 12 that. The, this over here, you know, is his tomb, which in fact, we obviously don't need these things to prove that our faith is true. But guess what? This scriptures is full of history. So, as well as everything that we understand and know is established on faith, is there's also historical proof, man, which is in the scriptures. So, for for all you scoffers and people say, oh, the Bible's made up. This town is recorded in the scriptures. I'm standing right here, right? The scripture speaks about the the, the, uh, the apostle um, Philip over there's his tomb, and much more, man. Right? So without further ado, I'm gonna get into some some historical points as well, because obviously where I'm at is obviously it's it's it's it's it's, it's, it's, it's in Turkey, right? And we got the Israelites who were scattered here, man. Right, so so this is um this is um first first first point I'm gonna get is um from Wikipedia. It says Heriopolis was founded as a thermal spa early in the second century BC within the sphere of the Seleucid Empire. Antiochus the Great, so Antiochus Epiphanes sent 2,000 Jewish Israelite f families to Lydia and Phrygia, right? So Antiochus Epiphanes actually sent 2,000 Israelite f f families here to this town, right? He said from Babylon and Mesopotamia, later joined by more from Judea. The Israelite congregation grew in Heriopolis and has been estimated as high as 50,000 in 62 BC 
So in 62 BC, it was estimated that you had 50,000 Israelite families in this exact spot and town where I'm standing. So if you had 50,000 of them, don't you think that the 12 tribes of Israel's seed is scattered in Turkey? If, it, if in this town alone you had 50,000. And over there is, is the, the, the tomb of the apostle, man. Right? It says, um, 7353. Three, uh, this is, um, I'm going to just get some points. It says, Heriopolis became a healing center where doctors used the thermal springs as a treatment for their patients. So if you, if you go down there, they got actual thermal springs whereby... They say if you go in the, the springs, like if you have joint pains or any ailments, it, it actually heals that, man. Or helps to heal that. Right? It says, um, in in AD 17, during the um, rule of Emperor Tiberius, a major earthquake destroyed the city through... The influence of the Christian apostle Paul, a church was founded there while he, he was at Ephesus, which well, is spiritual because I spoke to, to the tour guide and what he was explaining was there's been so many earthquakes that specifically happened here in ancient times. And, and really through the spirit, man, I believe the reason why it was happening because so much Hellenistic activities was taking place here. You know, it says through the influence of, a, of the Christian apostle Paul, a church was founded here, here while he was at Ephesus. The Christian apostle Philip spent the last years of his life here. The town's martyrdom was alleged to have been built upon, upon the spot where Philip was, was, was crucified in 80 AD. So on the spot where he was crucified over here, um, over here, was where his, the, the, the, the tomb and everything else in this area it was built, right? Um, as well, I believe they say the the, the, the main reason why he actually um, uh, got crucified was because he just tried to, to um, convert the um, the the the, the, um, the, uh, the actual door of, of someone someone who was a uh, permanent to, to, to, to the truth. And basically, when when they uh, came to to crucify him, they he gave him an option of, of that not not happening and and basically he himself basically he, he just said no and the same spirit he's got is, is the same spirit we as the hopeful elect you know will have during during during that time of trouble when they, they implement that mark of the beast man right it says in in uh the year 60 no it says the th the theater, which is down there, which I'm I'm gonna I'm show the camera there eventually. The theater was was built in 129 for a visit by the emperor Hadrian. It was renovated under Septimius Severus, man. Right, which we know that guy was an Israelite, man. Right. So as you can see, that the, the, the, those um, um uh, points in history prove that yada people scattered him, man. Which I'm gonna get that scripture. This is um. Deuteronomy 4 and 27. Uh, and the Lord shall scatter you among the nations, and ye shall be left few in number among the heathen, whither the Lord shall lead you. And there ye shall serve gods, the work of men's hands, wood and stone, which neither see nor hear nor eat nor smell. But if from thence thou shalt seek the Lord thy power, thou shalt find him. If thou seek him with all thy heart and with all thy soul, when thou art in tribulation and these things have come upon thee even in the latter days so the scripture is saying you, you got people scattered amongst all people but in the end days they will turn unto the lord and that's why you have brothers in the truth from turkey who are coming to this faith you have brothers in the truth from ghana you have brothers in the truth from all, all, all around the world coming and believing in the, on this gospel because we're in that time and we've been scattered amongst all people and tongues and, and nations man so with that i'm gonna end with this final scripture Right, because the end of the day, the scripture says that the just shall live by his faith, man. Right, and stuff as such here, they just add on to our faith. Like we we we, we um, don't put our um uh, um uh, uh, uh, trust in the things that we can see. 
we put our trust in the things that the Spirit makes us to understand. This is Hebrews 11 and 1. And our faith is the substance of things hopeful, the evidence of things not seen. For by it the elders obtain a good report. So by faith is how we obtain a very good, good report. But again, the Bible is a, a book of history, man. Right? It's a book of immense history that you cannot disprove or speak against. Right? So with that, I'm going to say, all praise be to you. How about Shemel Shai? Double honors to the apostles and elders of great most God. With that, I'm going to say, Shalom. I'm currently at um, Hira Polis Pam, Pam Kule. I'm not saying that properly, but that's the ancient name for um, Friga. No, no, sorry. It's, it's ancient name of this place is um, Friga. Fragua, uh, if I'm saying it properly. <clears throat> Alright, Akim, I'm just here. I'm walking through the town. You know, as you can see, these are some very big rocks. You know, and it just, it just, it just, it just um further proves how men in the ancient world were of much great, greater um, uh, uh, stature, man, because. These are some big ass blocks, man. Which took, which shows you also how skilled people was in the ancient world. Because you, you got people out there with, with a mentality that are, oh, you know, everyone in the ancient world was an idiot. Or how great invention is now. Of course, the scripture says, and and and and and, and knowledge shall be increased. But you've got some structures in the ancient world which can't be rebuilt for example the uh the those pyramids in egypt which were built by our forefathers in slavery in egypt could, could not be rebuilt again that's how skillful it was you know as well as you can see they have like very big great stones man and, and it makes me think about like when Achan, stephen and so other men in the scriptures got stoned how it wasn't just getting stoned by a pebble, man. It was um, really big, huge stones, man. All right? Um, yeah. Over there is the theater, I believe. Is that the theater? Yeah, over there is the theater. The, the amphitheater. Um, yeah. But yeah, man. Just just wanted to show Akim like a, a little like a walk of this ancient uh, kind of city, you know, this ancient town, ancient city. But, um, so yeah, if I got got anyone else or anything else to record, I'll record it. Shut up. Wow. Yeah, the first time. You know, the UNESCO World Heritage List, there are many places in the world from the UNESCO World Heritage List. Yeah. Natural heritage or cultural heritage. But on the world, there are only 36 real heritage, both natural and cultural mm -hmm. real heritage. On the world, there are only 36. Two of them are in Turkey. One of them is Pamuk, uh, Cappadocia. You went there? No, no, we haven't been there. Later no. you will go? Yeah, yeah, hopefully. Cappadocia and the other one is Pamukkale. Mm. The white terraces is natural heritage. Mm. Behind of the white terraces, there is a city, this city which is called Hierapolis. It's cultural heritage. So, Hierapolis? Hierapolis, yeah. Okay, Hierapolis. Holy city. Hierapolis was built uh, three centuries BC. Mm -hmm. During the Seleucus Empire, after the Alexander the Great. Mm -hmm. The Seleucus Empire ruled this area. Oh, um, you mean uh, Seleucus? Seleucus. Oh, oh, like uh, Antiochus? Antiochus. Yeah, yeah. So, so, so. Yeah, Antiochus. Yeah. yeah, you know Antiochus. Yeah. The life site is Gymnasium. Gymnasium. Mm -hmm. Gymnasium means naked. Gymnasium means uh, naked people mm. get to the area. Mm. Yeah, it is kind of 
Sport School of Gladiator Sport School of Aeropolis. Kemal kolay gelsin dostum. İyidir koşturuyoruz. Sen de bir tanesi. Bizim abi ara dedi mi seni İspanyol iş? Sıkıntı yok kardeşim Allah'a emanet. Telekos Empire, Telekos Empire divided four. Uh -huh. uh, Cappadocia Empire, Bithynia Empire, Pontus Empire and Pergamon Empire. Yeah. You know Pergamon Empire? Yeah, yeah, heard about it. yeah. It is close to Izmir, the third is biggest city in Turkey, Izmir. One is Istanbul, second is the capital city Ankara, uh -huh. third one is Izmir. Uh -huh. From Izmir it takes one kilometer, the capital city of Pergamon Empire. It is also in the world uh, heritage list, yeah, yeah. the world heritage yeah. list. Uh, during Pergamon Empire, especially uh, second century BC, Emenius II, the emperor of Pergamon Empire, uh, built many buildings in Hierapolis. Mm. So he gave the city his wife's name, Hiera. Mm. In Greece, Polis means city, mm. Hierapolis means the city of Hiera. Mm. The name of the city is Hierapolis. Uh, after that, the Roman Empire ruled this area, mm -hmm. especially 60 AD, big earthquake happened, mm -hmm. whole city was collapsed. We call this uh, era is Hellenis Hellenistic, yep. you know, between uh, Alexander the Great and yep. Roman Empire, mm -hmm. this period is called Hellenistic period. The Hellenistic Empire, yeah. yeah. Uh, 60 AD, mm -hmm. I said big earthquake happened and whole city was collapsed, and from 69 uh, the Roman Empire started to build this city again after the big earthquake. Especially, can you see over there, the mm -hmm. theater? They started to build the theater and main bathroom, Roman bathroom, and especially the city walls. Can you see over there, the walls? Yeah, yeah, the city walls. Where are they? They are coming, right? Uh, I think they're doing their own thing. It's okay, no problem. Can you see the stools? Mm -hmm. The stools built it for century AD. These stools. So this is the south gate. If we walk five kilometers to north gate, we will see there is also stools. Also that part also there is city wall. Mm. Uh, between 69 AD and 96 AD, Flavius dynasty ruled the Roman Empire. Mm -hmm. In Flavius dynasty, there are three uh, emperors. Mm -hmm whose name is Vespasian mm -hmm. Titus Domitian. Domitian, yep. Yeah. In Ephes, if you go to Ephes, you will see the Domitian temple, big temple. Oh, um, Ephesus. Yeah, Ephesus. Yeah. Ephesus, yeah. Ephesus also in the World Health, UNESCO World Health yeah. mm. from 2015. <clears throat> and during these three empires, these three emperors uh, like to build big monuments. Mm. For example, you know, in the Italy, yep. there is a Colosseum. Yep. The Colosseum, the real name of the Colosseum is Flavius Amphitheater. Oh, yep, yep. It was built uh, during this three emperor period. Mm. And uh, between 2nd and 3rd AD, mm -hmm. it was the golden age of Hierapolis. Mm. The population was uh, 10,000, mm. over 10,000 population. But 7th century, it, earth, it happened big earthquake again. Mm. So uh, the earthquake is the murder of ancient sites. Mm, yeah, yeah. So two months ago, in Denizli, it happened big earthquake again, 5, 10, 7 point. Mm. So, 7th century, it happened big earthquake and thermal waters were rise to the surface. Mm. So, these waters spread randomly. So, you can see there is a water channel over there, water channel. Here is water channel. Here was water channel and here was white. Mm. The thermal waters uh, spread ra randomly. So, 100 years, 200 years spread randomly. And these thermal waters uh, come to the surface when it comes into the contact in the oxygen. Mm. So there is, it happens uh, uh, chemical reactions. Mm. The carbon monoxide and carbon monoxide gases uh, flies away and calcium carbonate, calcium carbonate deposits yeah. calcium yeah. carbonate. Yeah. 
So if the water flow 200 year, it happened that kind of two meter, three meter calcium limestone layer. Oh yeah, yeah. So can you see the layer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So for archaeologists, it was very difficult to continue the exhibition. So first they had to cut these layer with compressors. Oh, because yeah, well, because to the water underneath. The water yeah. Is coming. Yeah. This is thermal water. Yeah. There is also ancient pool, the water coming from the ground, thermal oh. water. Can mm. you The water flow 200, 300 years, so inside of the water it equals so much calcium carbonate. So it deposits and it forms 2 meter, 3 meter layer. Oh, yeah. Limestone layer. Limestone layer. Where are they? Yeah? They are slow, man. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they went quickly. I don't know. In the normal water, it includes only 2 mg calcium. Mm -hmm. But in the thermal water of Pamukkale, it includes 420 mg calcium. Mm -hmm. That's why Pamukkale is white. The water is allowed to flow. The Pamukkale is about 3 km wide. It's 3 km wide. Mm -hmm. the every day, three parts, they allow to flow the water. Only three parts. Because the water is low, not much compared to past. So, uh, if they don't allow to flow the water, go down the water over the white terraces, it gets black. Oh, okay. So, that's why the thermal water is very important for Pamukkale. Can you see over there the theater? On the left side, you will see the white sculpture of Hades. In ancient times, oh, it was believed oh, that... Over there, yeah? Yeah, it was believed that it is the entrance of underground world. Oh. So, all that people's ghosts had to enter from that gate. So that's why okay. oh, the south gate, north gate, you can see the big cemetery of ancient times. Mm. So everybody wanted to, uh, wanted to, how can I say? Everybody's grave wanted to be close to here, mm. close to gate of underground world, which was ruled by Hades. By Hades, yeah. yeah you know Hades, the brother of Zeus. Mm -hmm. Zeus is the god of sky mm -hmm. and, pl and, and top of the gods. Yeah. yeah. This city's protector god was Apollo. Mm. Apollo. The, this part is the Cleopatra pool. Cleopatra pool. Okay. It was big. Mm, is it is it possible to go up there? You can go to theater as well. Oh, theater, yeah. But the uh, uh, high gate yeah. is forbidden. Oh, the high gate is forbidden, yeah. Because the exhibitions continue. Um, as well, I see that they uh, f they um found the um tomb of Saint uh, Philip. Is uh, it? Saint Philip is over there. Can you see the top of the hill? Yeah. Uh, especially 8080, mm -hmm. Saint Philip came here Saint, to yeah. spread Christianity. Mm -hmm. But at that time, paganism was really strong. Mm -hmm. So paganist people didn't like Saint Philip. Mm -hmm. So Saint Philip started to show some miracles. Mm -hmm. So many people start to believe Christianity. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, this top of the hill, mm -hmm. he was crucified, crucified and killed. Yeah, yeah. But uh, 
313 Konstantin Emperor Konstantin the Emperor of the Roman Empire mm -hmm. signed and decided the Christianity became the official, uh, religion. official religion of Roman Empire. Mm -hmm. So and the Christianity became strong. Okay. And especially fourth century, especially uh, Roma divided to yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know uh, 395 mm. West and East Roma. Mm. The East Roma's city, uh, capital city was Constantinopolis. Mm. I'm sorry. Hello. So over there, the far side, which I'm gonna try <laughs> get up there to do some um, recording is what they believed in in about 2012 or 2011 to have found the um the tomb of apostle peter you know which is um which is interesting you know this as you can see is an ancient um i believe this is an ancient or well it is an ancient town i believe it is um i can't say the word properly but it's Frigia so P H I think R Y I A Frigia or something like that which you know this proves well which you know I didn't have to actually come and do this but I essentially came here by complete accident like I didn't even know what I was about to encounter and I've encountered a scriptural, you know, uh, a site, an ancient scriptural site, you know, which I, I just, I was just literally guided here through the script. Yeah, bro. You ask me someone, no? No, no, no. <laughs> okay. Can you see over there? Mm -hmm. uh, 450 mm -hmm. East West. West Roma mm -hmm. finished. Mm -hmm. But East Roma continue 1453 till the Ottoman Empire mm -hmm. win the war and take the Istanbul Constantinopolis. Okay. But uh, especially 4th century AD from Constantinopolis many architects came here mm -hmm. and they built the big church on the on the um, grave of Saint Philip, mm -hmm. and left side they built big martorium. Okay. In this martorium, there are thirty-two rooms, mm. and many privileged came here. Yep. Came here, many Christian privileged, and stayed one night in this uh, martorium. It is octagonal shape, mm -hmm. and it symbolizes the eternity. Eternity. Oh. Yeah, yep. Yeah. And they paid money and enter state one night and they drank the water thermal water coming from the uh, same flops grave okay yeah. and in their dreams they see uh, about their futures in oh, their dreams yeah, yeah. so the aim is to take maybe taking money from the pockets <laughs> <laughs> so so um, is it is it is it is it um is it possible at some point to you can go Go up there, yeah. Yeah, if you want, you can yeah, go. it takes time. Yeah. Can you see the left side? Over there. The hillside. Yeah. You can see so many uh, small house shape. Yeah. There are also tombs. Okay. But on the left side, can you see the stairs? The oh yeah. Side? On the left you side. Can go from there. Yeah. When you reach there, there there are there were first octagonal shape bath among mm -hmm. many privileges came the long. Uh, far areas mm -hmm. came here and they took shower they uh, they were clean they be clean in this bathroom yeah octagonal shaped bathroom under that you can see there is 70 meters stairs up 70 mm -hmm. meter about mm -hmm. stairs you should climb yeah but when you climb on the right side you will see the fountain no, okay and the first tomb of same flat mm -hmm. on this tomb uh, the Christian people built church. Mm. On the left side, you will see the big martorium, octagonal shape martorium. Yeah. And the bones of Saint Philip uh, yeah. were moved this octagonal shape martorium. Mm. And you can see there also. Okay. 
if you go that area directly, mm -hmm. this area, you will see the frontiers gate. Oh yeah, yeah, and yeah. Frontiers street, yeah. the main street of like Champs Elysees street of mm -hmm. Heropolis. Okay. It takes one kilometers. White is 15 meter, meter. Under this, uh, under this way, there is a there was a sewage system. Okay. Sewage system. And when you enter from front of gate on the left side, you will see the latrina, open air toilet. Oh yeah, Heropolis. yeah, yeah, yeah. Till 313, it was used by women and men. But after Christianity, it was used by only men. Yeah. Where are they? I think um, they, they are coming. They, uh, they, they, explain to, they explain to us to go meet there at 4 o'clock. So I think. What we, time? At 4 o'clock, we go back to, oh. uh, to the exit. So I think. Oh, you know. Yeah. I think, I think, I think they're doing their own thing. It's good for many diseases. Can you see? It is good for all cardiovascular diseases, high blood pressure, skin diseases, rheumatic disease, and also you can drink as well. It is good for your stomach and diabetes treatment. Mm. You can taste inside. I will okay. show you.